you're watching TVC Breakfast. The recent reports that a high percentage of Nigerian first-born children belong to the men other than the person they call their father has been described as worrisome. Indeed, this may DNA test become a frequently debated topic. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu put together this report on DNA testing and its acceptance in Nigeria. The above revelation kick-started the conversation on DNA testing, with some describing the claim as exaggeration. However, the social media has been agog with arguments for and against DNA testing, especially paternity. The statement has also given rise to conversations on how respected the marriage institution is. Usually, I don't think you should actually want to do it, but the moment you begin to feel your spouse is slipping around and you want to secure the future of your children, you want to protect them, it's important you know if they are truly your child. Wow, yeah, that one is <laughs> its very broad because uh, I think that has to do with trust. That has to do with trust because I don't see any reason why you'll be in a marital relationship with somebody and you are still trying to run a DNA test. From a legal perspective, I feel DNA test is very, very important because it solves a lot of issues without having to argue, go back and forth, blame it on another person or a heritage. DNA testing is a basic requirement for families before obtaining traveling documents for their children. Johnson, not his real name, and has been living in the United States for 15 years, was a victim. I was doing relatively well in Nigeria, but needed to secure a future for my children. And I assumed that relocating would do that for me, and the process began. At some point, paternity test was needed, and lo and behold, the unimaginable happened. The result came out, and my world was shattered. It turned out only one of the four kids was my child. Chief Medical Director DNA Center was away on vacation. He, however, obliged us with some vital information over the phone. According to the forensic geneticist, the center has carried out over 1,000 tests since it was commissioned, with paternity inquiries making up to 65%. In our quest to get more answers, we also made a stop at Lagos State DNA and Forensic Center to get some of those answers like paternity test how it's done and also you know uh, the influx of people into the center uh, this is the camera and so of course every item or item of evidence that we see we have to take photos of them okay. and um, these are buckle swabs oh. like this okay okay yeah exactly so when we receive sample from crime scene from police officer or whoever is submitting so we take the sample into this room to examine if there is presence of biological material, they are going to fluoresce. Now, this is, might be suspected from the color mm -hmm. that it's semen. Yes. So we have a test that will do to confirm it's semen. Okay. So when you're done with the test, then you can proceed to um, DNA analysis and you do your extraction to have your profile. Parents are expected to consider the emotional and psychological impact on their children. It is also the view of some people that one must not father a child to love a child. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos. Well, joining us now via, from Ilori via Skype is a professor of pathology and deputy vice chancellor of research technology and innovation at the University of Ilori, Professor Mikhail Buhari. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Now, there's been several controversies as to DNA testing, whether it should be carried out or not. But as a professor in this field, what would you advise? Good morning. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Well, I, I would say that uh, DNA paternity testing as uh, its uses and uh, where that is clearly indicated, that is the only way to go. The answers it will provide that will solve uh, myriads of problems uh, that otherwise will linger and lead to some other complications. When you say complications, how do you mean? Uh, well, a, a point uh, uh, in question is uh, this uh, trying to determine the paternity of a child. Uh, DNA paternity testing 
uh, per se is about uh, determining whether an individual is uh, the father of uh, a child. Um, it could also, you have the maternity testing, which could, uh, which tries to determine whether a mother is the mother of a child. Now, uh, if you could establish, right, that the father is the father, the alleged father is the parent of that child, that has solved the problem. Where that lingers, where you don't have a, an answer, of course, uh, complications uh, could arise. That will linger. You could have a prolonged uh, lawsuit. Uh, of course, considering the other uses of uh, paternity testing, like in the case of uh, inheritance, uh, adoption, immigration, social welfare benefits. If you do not have uh, that technology of DNA paternity testing, it means that you cannot have uh, this uh, resolved uh, for good. But the results are said to uh, be 50-50. Does that make it accurate? The, the, the result is not 50-50. Uh, that's uh, a bit uh, on the very low side. Uh, it's uh, DNA paternity testing on its own is uh, about uh, determining the probability of parentage. And uh, it's a range. Zero percent will tell you that this is not the father. The, about the best methodology available will give you 99.99 percent. That's not 50 percent. It, it tells you that uh, the, the, you have removed doubt up to the level of 0.001 percent. That's not 50-50. It is fairly accurate. You're using uh, current uh, technology. But another issue is uh, it, the, the controversy it sets, uh, sets, uh, 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 sets in when the test comes out because a lot of Nigerians don't seem to want to accept uh, things like this when it comes to DNA testing. Uh, well, with every um, laboratory test, uh, there are false uh, negative, there are false positive. The false uh, negative are the things we cause false exclusions in this regard. In this particular context, uh, the, the, the first uh, positive and the first inclusion. The first exclusion will be that uh, the one that is the father, the real father, is said not to be the father after the testing. There are various reasons why that could happen. But then the first inclusion will be that uh, the one that is not the father is now labeled as the father. The reason why you can have uh, a first exclusion will be, number one, is that um, you can have human error. There are three, minimum of three parties involved in this. The father, the mother, and then the child. Now, if you wrongly place the sample from the mother in that of the envelope for the child, it will mean that you're actually balancing the mother against the father. And so that will give you a false negative result. So that, that, that has to uh, be properly, uh, uh, but a way around that would be to ensure that you match the father against the mother. And that will tell you when that error has occurred along that line. Another cause of false exclusion will be uh, when um, you have uh, criminality or mischief. You have an imposter donating the DNA All uh, right, as uh, against the alleged father. Professor Mikhail Buhari, thank you for your time yes. uh, on the uh, TBC Breakfast. We have to leave it at this point. Thank you. Well, this issue has become a little more controversial, if yeah. you put it somehow, because if you hear uh, comments from people about uh, the DNA testing or paternity testing and all. You're watching TVC Breakfast. Now, the recent report that a high percentage of Nigerian firstborn children belong to men other than the persons they call their father has been described as worrisome. This made uh, DNA tests become a frequently debated topic. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu put together this report on DNA testing and its acceptance in Nigeria. The above revelation kick-started the conversation on DNA testing, with some describing the claim as exaggeration. However, the social media has been agog with arguments for and against DNA testing, especially paternity. The statement has also given rise to conversations on how respected the marriage institution is. Usually, I don't think you should actually want to do it, but the moment you begin to feel your spouse is slipping around and you want to secure the future of your children, you want to protect them, it's important you know if they are truly your child. Wow, uh, that one is <laughs> it's very broad because uh, I think that has to do with trust. That has to do with trust because I don't see any reason why 
you'll be in a marital relationship with somebody and you are still trying to run a DNA test. From a legal perspective, I feel DNA test is very, very important because it solves a lot of issues without having to argue, go back and forth, blame it on another person or a heritage. DNA testing is a basic requirement for families before obtaining traveling documents for their children. Johnson, not his real name, and has been living in the United States for 15 years, was a victim. I was doing relatively well in Nigeria, but needed to secure a future for my children. And I assumed that relocating would do that for me, and the process began. At some point, maternity test was needed, and lo and behold, the unimaginable happened. The result came out, and my world was shattered. It turned out only one of the four kids was my child. Chief Medical Director DNA Center was away on vacation. He, however, obliged us with some vital information over the phone. According to the forensic geneticist, the center has carried out over 1,000 tests since it was commissioned, with paternity inquiries making up to 65%. In our quest to get more answers, we also made a stop at Lagos State DNA and Forensic Center to get some of those answers like paternity test, how it's done, and also, you know, uh, the influx of people into the center. Uh, this is the camera. And so, of course, every item or item of evidence that we receive, we have to take photos of them. Okay. And um, these are buckle swaps, oh. like this. Okay. okay. Yeah, exactly. So when we receive sample from crime scene, from police officer, or whoever is submitting, so we take the sample into this room to examine if there is presence of biological material, they are going to fluoresce. Now, this is, might be suspected from the color mm -hmm. that it's semen. Yes. So we have a test that will do to confirm it's semen. Okay. So when you're done with the test, then you can proceed to um, DNA analysis and you do your extraction to have your profile. Parents are expected to consider the emotional and psychological impact on their children. It is also the view of some people that one must not father a child to love a child. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos. Joining me now from Elorin via Skype is a professor of pathology and deputy vice chancellor, research, technology, and innovation at the University of Elorin, Professor Mikhail Buhari. Professor, it's good to have you join me right now. When it comes to the issue of a DNA test or paternity test, Talk to us how dependable or reliable or accurate are some of the results of these tests. Thank you. Um, relatively speaking, we're talking about um, a very accurate uh, test. Uh, the figure here is about 99.99. That is not beyond reasonable doubt. Beyond reasonable doubt will be 100% meaning that uh, there's that element of doubt up to 0 0.01%. But then 99.9% .9 would have eliminated uh, almost the whole of the population, leaving a very small group, only one man, as uh, the father of that child. So it, it is quite uh, reliable. All right. In carrying out this test, what must be present? What, what are the materials from the person that is used for the DNA tests? There are at least three parties involved. There's the father, there's the child, and then there's the mother. The two important ones are the father and then the child. Uh, you take uh, a buka swab using uh, a swab stick, and that is rubbed uh, on the cheek or in the buka, on the mocha mucosa, and that will give you materials that you take, you put in an envelope, and then you take to the laboratory for testing. The testing basically is about sequencing the DNA to compare that from the father with that of the child and see whether you have uh, a very high degree of uh, similarity between the two before you can draw a conclusion. But, uh, in getting the mother involved is try to is, is um, a way of ensuring that truly uh, uh, you have uh, all the parties involved uh, put together to ensure you have a complete picture of uh, what is happening. All right, so how are Nigerians accepting the idea of, of paternity or DNA testing and how are they trooping to take the test? Uh, well, it, um, it, we're talking about uh, 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 the contemporary times. 
uh, there are issues uh, that we are confronted with on a daily basis that ensure that uh, whether we like it or not, we must ad uh, adopt and uh, embrace uh, the DNA paternity test. We talked about it when we have uh, conflict as a result of uh, the uh, the uh, of a child. We talked about uh, adoption. If you do, somebody just give uh, an example of uh, immigration process, and we talked about uh, social welfare benefits. In all these instances, it's important to have uh, the paternity of the child determined, and uh, you must adopt uh, the latest technology as far as that is concerned. It's an African setting, uh, quite all right, and so the level would not be at where you have in the developed world, but then we are slowly picking up uh, because uh, people demand answers, and uh, if that's the only way they will get the answer, they embrace it. All right. Uh, Professor Mikhail Buhari from University of Ilorian, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Right.